Good morning, everybody. How are we? Today, we're going to read Feathers for Phoebe by Rod Clement. I wonder if you can tell me what's different about this book with the colourful things around the outside and the bird on the inside. I wonder if the title tells us anything about the bird. Let's, let's have a look inside. Feathers for Phoebe by Rod Clement. Look at the pretty things here. A bit about the book, the illustrations, and that's Rod himself. Okay, let's get started. Phoebe was small and grey, and she didn't like it. Not one little bit. Hmm. Have you ever felt like that? I want to be noticed. I want to stand out in a crowd. I want to look like you, Phoebe told Zelda. Of course you do, Zelda replied. Zelda was beautiful. Zelda was talented. Zelda was famous. Zelda ran the most popular beauty salon in the forest. I wonder, are there really beauty salons in the forest? Where do I start? asked Phoebe. At the top, darling, always the top. You need a crest, a brand new crest. Something bright, something big, something marvellous. Have a look at the samples and tell me what you like. No, no, maybe, no, maybe, no. Yes, said Phoebe. I wonder what made her pick that one. Marvellous, said Zelda. Marvellous, marvellous. No one has ever asked for this one before. Wow, said Phoebe. Wow, said Zelda. So much colour. Determined to show off her new look, Phoebe flew backwards and forwards through the busiest part of the forest, but no one stopped to stare. I need something more, thought Phoebe. Oh, what else could she need? Darling, darling, darling. The crest is a start, but it's not enough. You need a tail, Zelda exclaimed. Something long, something elegant. You decide. No, no, maybe, no. Yes, said Phoebe. Beautiful, darling. It will go perfectly with your new crest. Hmm. What's a crest, I wonder? Is that a new word for you? Phoebe's new tail did go perfectly with her new crest, but it did not go perfectly with anything else. It was so long she could barely get off the ground. The only heads she turned were the ones she whacked as she flew by. I need something else to set off the tail, said Phoebe. Of course you do. You need wings, said Zelda. The choice was huge. Have you ever had a really big choice with something? Take your time, darling. Wings are everything, everything. No, no, maybe, maybe. Yes, said Phoebe. Wonderful, 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 said Zelda. With these wings, you will shine like the morning sun. Phoebe's new wings looked stunning. It was just a pity she couldn't use them. No flying, darling, said Zelda. They're just for show. From now on, you walk. Walking wasn't easy. It was difficult to turn or lift her head. And down the forest floor, she wasn't sure if anyone saw her at all. It's your chest and back, said Zelda. The grey cannot stay. It has to go. You choose, Phoebe told Zelda. Choose anything you like as long as it's fabulous. No, 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 fabulous. No, 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 fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous exclaimed Zelda as she added the last fluffy feather to Phoebe's new chest. You're finished, darling. The old Phoebe has gone. The new Phoebe has arrived. Have you ever changed something which changed everything about you? Taking care to avoid thorns, spider webs, prickly leaves and snagging branches, Phoebe climbed a low-hanging vine and began parading up and down. How do you parade up and down a hanging vine? But no one called out to her. No one stopped for a closer look. Oh, poor Phoebe. I have a crest, a tail, feathers every colour of the rainbow, but still no one notices me, moaned Phoebe. Sometimes feathers are not enough, darling. You need more, much more, said Zelda. You need a song, a sound, anything, so long as it's loud. And then you will need some moves. Some moves? asked Phoebe. Moves, moves that show off your tail, your crest, and your shiny new wings. 
Ooh. I like to puff out my chest, fan out my tail, wiggle my rump and sing. Ging gang gooly, wash wash, ging gang goo, ging gang goo. But remember, this is my song. These are my moves. You need your own, said Zelda. Phoebe spent the rest of the day trying things out. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bang boom. No. Tum tum tea, tum tum. No. Ticket, ticket, cha cha, ticket, ticket, choo, ticket, ticket. Yes. Then she tried prancing and dancing, whirling and twirling, nodding and bobbing until finally she found the perfect moves for the perfect grooves. Wow, what a song. Have you made up your own song before? The all new singing, dancing Phoebe was now ready to show herself to the world. Very slowly and very carefully, Phoebe climbed to the top of the tallest tree. She stood on one leg, shook her tail, flicked up her crest, slowly flapped her wings and began to sing. Ticka ticka cha cha, ticka ticka choo, ticka ticka cha, no one noticed. Ticka ticka cha cha, ticka ticka choo, still no one noticed. Ticka tick. Phoebe's claw slipped off the branch. Clunk! Her head hit a vine, ripping off a new crest. Crash! She fell through an old hawk's nest, pulling off her new wings. Thunk! She collided with a sleeping lizard, which yanked off her new tail. Uh-oh! Thud! Phoebe landed smack, bang, on top of another bird. They stood up, a little dazed and a little dusty. Two birds, no fancy crests, no shiny wings, no long, elegant tails. Just two small, elegant birds. Two small, grey birds. Sorry, said Phoebe. I fell. I know. I caught you, said the other small grey bird. You did, said Phoebe. Sort of. I'm glad, said the other small grey bird. So am I, said Phoebe. Wow, said the other small grey bird. You sure know how to get noticed. Okay, now is the we do part. So that was the I do. So we do, we're going to read it again. And we're going to talk about all the different word families. And the I do a bit later is where you find the word families that you already know and link them to the word families in the book. Let's go back into our small groups. Thank you.